Alright, birthday, how are birthday, how are you? Birthday, how are you? Birthday, how are you? Child law, my child, 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 and share that take to the oxen and put to the truth across the four corners of the earth to the fear and power of your heart by the of the hope of let. And who the world only call God is named Yahweh. And who the world only call Jesus Christ is named Yahweh Shai. Or the Hebrew, um, Mahal Yakov from the Great Middle of Los Angeles camp. All right. A, uh, of the Inner Empire region. All right. Also known as the IE. Okay. So I want to do a video. I was throwing to YouTube and I seen this by uh uploaded by the infographic show and it said what if the world world never happened and immediately in my head i said it had to happen all right for property states all right we can't um get into what if this didn't happen this didn't happen everything happened for a reason and everything is according to the will of the how about sound shy all right, and nothing can't be avoided because he's the one that thinks for everything to happen. All right, that's for scripture. I did. That's a day of 55. And, and eight, for my thought or not your thought, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord, the how about sound shine. For as the heaven are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thought than your thoughts. All right? So that's how... Uh, how about South Side operate, man? Alright. We can't get into why oh, you doing it this way. What he want done, it, it's going to get done. Alright. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and return it not thither, but water the earth and make it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Alright. And this is uh, making it um, give you a similarity how that happened to how what he say you gonna do gonna happen. All right, prophecy. All right, verse eleven. Though shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. Okay, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right, the so way he think he's gonna do is gonna get done. All right, so look at the word of oh boy. All right, because it's it shall not come, it, not, it shall not return to his mouth. Boy, the Hebrew word is why you come, all right, vainly, emptily, in an empty condition, in vain, without effect. Alright, so what the scripture say? Um, uh, second Ezra chapter 9. This is uh, Second Entry Chapter Nine, and 
I told her one. She answered me this. Instead, measured out the time diligently in itself when I see a part of the time past which I had told you before was on the property. Then try to understand that it is the very same time where in the highest world begins to visit the world which he made. I'm going to jump down. Verse 4. Then shall thou will understand that the most high fake of those things from the beginning, uh, like it from the from the day that before, before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so the time also of the highest have plain beginning and wonder and powerful works and ending and effect in time. See? So these things were gonna uh to happen and cause things to happen. All right, let me look at the word effect. Result impact. A chain which is a result or consequence of an action or other cause. See that? So this had to happen in order other events to happen. All right, because World War One and Two didn't happen. Then other thing would have not have happened, all right. They're like the video did. What is World War never happened? It, it had to happen, all right. Cause it had it it it, it was a fact that changed on the earth, on the world, all right. They read the prophecy and revelation about um these uh event war, all right, on a world scale. A certain event in line up with prophecy that had came to pass. All right, for World War One and World War Two, okay. So that they even though the time also the highest have plain beginning and wonder and powerful work, and ending in effect and time. See that? So we go back to the meaning. All right. What where you from? All right. It mean without effect. All right. Let's read the scripture again. Isaiah fifty-five. And 11, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void without effect. All right, so what he said was going to happen, it uh, did what? Ending and affecting time. So the things happened. All right, it made an impact. All right, for things to happen result on a consequence. Okay. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where to I think it. See that? Isaiah 45 and 23, I have sworn by myself, the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. That unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear to the point where uh, it shall not return. All right. So whatever he said is going to uh, happen or do, it didn't come back without any effect. All right. It accomplished what it said we're going to do. I was just reading Isaiah 55 and 11. Isaiah 46 and 10, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient time, the things that are not yet done with the property, which is what's the next one, World War Three, all right, which is in the scripture, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. See that? So he's going to do everything that he wants to have done, okay? It's uh, Revelation um, 8 and 13. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of, of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitant of the earth by reason of the other voice of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. Right. Which are other event properties that haven't happened yet at the time, and woe means destruction. 
Okay. Now you read up. It was talking about uh, uh, one of the wars. Okay. Which we had done plenty of videos on with the other possible great millstone down. All right. Type in GMS, the great millstone, uh, 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 revelation breakdown or uh, world war breakdown. Okay. And everything lining up, these properties line up what had transpired in an event that transpired in history. All right. That led up to, uh, 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 to these wars to break out. Okay. And even this chapter, chapter 9, is talking about uh, uh, the airplane, all right? And then Apollyon is talking about um, uh, Kaiser, was it Kaiser Wilhelm? That's all I'm mistaken. Yep, Kaiser Wilhelm the second, I believe. Wilhelm the second, if I'm not mistaken. All right, that's what um talking about. All right, but the point I don't want to deviate from that. But the point um, point is the verse twelve for this particular topic. One woe is past with World War One, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. See. And all this was written in the scripture thousand years ago, before, like 2,000 years ago, before uh, the First World War happened. All right? Let me look it up. Well, yeah, see that? Oh, man. World War One or the First World War, often abbreviated as World War WWI or WW One, was a major global conflict that began 28 July 1914 and ended November 11, 1918. All right, the same thing for World War Two. All right, because there what the second there behold there come two woes more after hereafter, all right. This was World War Two and World War Three, okay. Now you go a couple chapter over, all right, from Revelation nine to Revelation eleven, all right, verse fourteen. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right, and the second world was World War II. All right, September 1st, 1939 through September 2nd, 1945. See that? So that was property for uh, this to take place. All right. It was meant to, uh, for it to go down how the way it went down and how it played out. All right, that's the description of the property. All right, how much I was trying that this is going to happen, and it, it happened. All right, and same thing for World War Three. Okay, gonna say, and behold, the third world comes quickly. All right, and that's inevitable. Okay, you got all these nuclear uh, weapons. Got the uh, conflict with um with um Russia and Ukraine. All right, uh, they think China had ended the war, fighting with Russia. And you know, the United States gonna get get involved pretty soon. Okay? So this is all according to property to, for it to happen. Alright? Not know what if the world world never happened. No, it had to happen. For property state. Alright? And it did happen. Alright, and it's one more war to go, which is gonna be the last war uh uh thereafter. Alright? There can be no more war after that. Okay? It's to talk about that. And that's another cut to prove that the 48 ers all right, are not the uh, real uh, people of, of Israel, all right? 
or of the Lord. All right, because it's, it's still war going on, on the earth. All right, and the kingdom of heaven is supposed to be peace, and they were never gonna uh, they're gonna uh, put their sword down. The idea. Here it is, Michael 4. Quality how I shine. All right, it's uh, Michael 4. I thought I won, but in the last day it shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord, the mountain of the house. Of the Lord, how much I try shall be established in the top of the mountains of the government, and it shall be adopted above the hill, and people shall flow unto it. And many they shall come and stay, come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, how much I try, and to the house of the, of, of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path. For the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of the Lord how about shall shine for Jerusalem. All right, because the Bible isn't like going to dictate, all right, according to the law, that the commandment of the Bible, all right, the other nation to follow. And he shall judge them among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall beat their sword into plowshares and their spirit into pruning hook. 
Nations shall not lift up a war against nations, neither shall they learn war anymore. See that? So, World War III is going to be the last one. And then after that, there's going to be no more war after that. All right? So, I'm going to end it at that. I hope this was edifying to the fear and power of how I sound shy. And with that, Twilight Howard, Twilight Howard Shy, Shalom.